Hello everybody, how's it going? I'm gonna be answering the most popular question that I get across all my social media platforms, which is how do I get compliments on fragrances? Now, of course, this video is for people that are asking that question. If you are somebody that doesn't care about compliments, obviously this isn't for you. And I have to say that because you would be surprised that the people that don't care about compliments are always the first to click on these videos and be in the comment section saying, I never care about compliments. And it's like, that's so great, aw, you know what I mean? But clearly not for you if you don't care about that. Now, first and foremost, what I advise and what works for me is being and looking approachable. Whenever I'm in a social situation or any sort of event, my stance and my posture is pretty open, right? My arms are to my sides, they're not crossed or anything like that. And my eyes are up scanning the room. I'm comfortable with, you know, making eye contact with people. So you would never see me just like this. You know what I mean? Because even let's say, if, cause I know this is a lot of people's go-to when they're at parties and stuff, they're just kind of like this on their phones, like checking the weather app because you know, they don't like, they're just, checking the weather app and randomly checking emails at like one in the morning. You know what I mean? Just, just doing this to look busy, right? So if you're somebody doing this and you want compliments, even if you smell fantastic, people are not gonna wanna come up to you because you look busy, you look disinterested, right? So instead, what I do is I put my phone away and I just stay present and I'm happy to be there. I'm excited to have a good time. So, you know, usually I'm smiling and trust me when you have that positive, sort of energy, it definitely radiates. And it's definitely like something that I've noticed that people are so drawn to, you know what I mean? So when you kind of have that attitude, you seem happy, people are like, you know what? I, I wanna go talk to this person, right? So that is a great way for people to come up to you and talk to you. Now, what's worked the best for me is once, you know, they approach me and we're having a conversation, as like that ice breaks and melts, I should say, then people are more, confident with giving a compliment where they're like by the way you smell so amazing i smelled you over there but i didn't want to say anything because i thought i would weird you out if i didn't talk to you you know what i mean so things like that are very common that i get and i would have never heard that if you know i looked closed off in the beginning so sometimes people compliment you right when they smell you and like if they're you know confident enough to do so off the bat but for the most part a lot of people need that icebreaker before they just lay on the compliment like that. So just make sure that your conversational skills are good, pay attention to the person that you're talking to. And when I say have a good conversation, you know, be engaging, don't make it just about yourself or don't do too little where you're just giving one word answers and they get bored, all right? So this video, of course, personality is important. And the reason I'm not focusing so much on it is because I'm mainly thinking about when you're meeting with new people, right? So when you're meeting with new people, they don't really know your personality. Um, and that is what they're gonna find out through conversation, right? So I guess, you know, it all blends together, right? Um, but whenever I'm with people that I do know, it's, it's usually compliments right off the bat once they hug me. They're like, oh my God, you smell so good. And it has been the case where when I meet other people and, you know, I give them a hug, they're like, oh wow, you smell amazing, right? If there's like a mutual friend, connection and I'm meeting their friend. So that makes it easier as well. You're like, oh, hi, nice to meet you. Like, you know, and just have a good conversation with them. And that's pretty much it. That is it, you know, being approachable, having conversational skills. And I would say, if you wanna spray more of your fragrance, that's probably the most technical answer here, you can. But what I like to do is, yes, I want it to be, you know, to, to be strong enough, but I never want it to just dominate the room right because there is there's like a fine line of smelling amazing to a point where in your scent bubble or, or when somebody passes you they notice it and they're kind of intrigued by it and the closer they get to you and when they have that conversation with you it becomes like intoxicating to their noses and they're like oh man you smell so good and they just want to get closer and closer right for me i'm not the type of person that wants to wear a guns out blazing fragrance or spray so much of a fragrance where yes, everybody can smell me, but at the same time, they're also put off because they're like, why are you wearing so much? You know what I mean? Sometimes it comes across a bit like you're trying too hard to be noticed 
and you're trying to let the fragrance do the talking for you instead of you doing the talking and then your fragrance kind of adding that extra level of holy shit they smell good you know what i mean so for me that's my style with it i like it being discovered but not overly in your face you know what i'm saying but of course you can spray more if you want to but read the room if you're going to like a kickback in a house party in a basement or something like that with no windows and of course don't wear too much of it because there's no windows and people are going to get pissed off right so just i've made videos about how i apply my fragrances you can go check that out if you want but those would probably be the three things i definitely recommend of course if if you want to spray more but the main two are what i'm going after being approachable and being able to hold good conversation skills which just makes people more comfortable with you know telling oh my god like you smell amazing or some people like people do that all the time when they're like and by the way you look amazing i love those shoes i love i love your hair it just it eases it you know some people need a little help of some liquid courage you know to just to kind of loosen up a little bit um and that's that's fine if you want to go that route too but uh, the last thing i'm going to say is don't be the person that has expectations that they will get compliments because they're wearing a nice fragrance. That happens a lot. I've received a ton of com like uh, comments where people say, hey, I wore that fragrance and I don't get compliments on it. I don't get compliments on it. And it's like, if you're only going places to get compliments, then you obviously won't get them because your mindset is, is kind of whack. You know what I'm saying? That's kind of like, not exactly the same, but the first thing that I'm thinking of in my mind is when you're at a club and a guy wants to buy a girl a drink and he gets it for her, but she doesn't have sex with him. And he's like, wow, like having that expectation of, oh, she owes me sex or she owes me at least a dance because I got her this. You know what I mean? Have no expectations and just go there and have fun. All right. Nobody gives a fuck that you're wearing a $300, $500 fragrance if you don't look like a joy to be around or if you just kind of look closed off. You know what I'm saying? So just get it through your heads that expectations with this are should never be the focal point of why you're going out or just like why you should have a good time. You know, some people get very in their heads about I want compliments, I want compliments. But it's like the way I look at it is think of a car, right? Like even let's say you're dressed up really nice and you're wearing a nice fragrance. Like if a car has all these like pimped out things, right? But it has no engine to run. It's pretty useless kind of the same thing with that if you throw on the nicest things and you have a great fragrance on and stuff like that but everything about you isn't running you know what i mean if you're just kind of to yourself and you look closed off you're not going to get anywhere you're not going to get anywhere you know what i mean so i hope that kind of helped but i know that this question kind of seems the question seems like common sense but you'd be surprised how many people ask it all right so anyways i hope you have a great day thanks for watching see you in the next video bye